Let y'all come in the room real quick, you feel me? If you on Twitter, retweet for your bruh. Any other platform, share for your bruh. And yeah, y'all see the goddamn title. Ohio cop shoots 15-year-old black boy holding a toy gun. That's all we got to talk about on today's episode of Sears Blair. But we're going to get on it when the ticker hits 0, zero letting y'all come in the room, you feel me? Y'all hurry up. Come on, come in the room, come in the room. Once it strikes zero, we're going to get into it, okay? Another episode of the Sears Glare. I'm your lovely or hated host, Kamal, a.k.a. the Black Seinfeld, a.k.a. Magic X. And since I have a certain sector of my audience that's the best, that shows love and appreciation for your bruh, that is my fam. We don't always agree. But when we disagree, we do it with respect. What should y'all be doing right now? Well, what's the hold up? Come on, people. If they watching, we stay learning. And I appreciate some of you. From the ugly to the beautiful and to the in-betweeners. Now, the other sector of my audience, I ain't even trying to get any of y'all. So y'all can shut the fuck up with your hating asses. Now, i like to thank my brother, producer of the show, bro on his fitness journey, Kiwi. The numbers going up. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's get them numbers up from our producer and my brother. All right. Now, phone lines is open. 619-609-7383. And yes, you reading the title right. As you can see right here. I can't even show the video. I can't even show the video. They're going to demonetize my ass. They might remove my channel with how they did, bruh. 15 years old. So we're going to read into the article. You feel me? We're going to name some names because it's in Ohio. So we're going to talk about the, the Columbus, Ohio mayor and the governor. Actually, let me just get their names right now. Goddamn Mike DeWine from the Republican Party. What's going on, bruh? This one y'all got to holler at. Holler at Mike DeWine. Ask him, like, what the hell is going on? Why is a police officer shooting a 15-year-old black boy holding a toy gun? God damn. Andrew Gither, he's the mayor of Columbus, Ohio. What the what's what's going on, bro? God damn. Anyway, as y'all can see, goddamn cop shoots a 15-year-old black boy. Bro, got back on duty. Literally right after he shot, bro. Wow. Hold on. It said right here, being shot by Ohio, who has, who has a uh, back on duty after earlier being fired. So he got fired, and then they were like, "Nah, we are gonna bring you back on." This by Yaron Stetbutch came out the tenth of this month. I'm not showing y'all the video. Y'all go see the video yourself, bro. I ain't showing the video. You feel me? Distressing newly newly released video shows a 15-year-old boy. I'm going to repeat that again. A 15-year-old boy being shot by a previously fired Ohio cop who mistook his toy gun for a weapon. This motherfucker was fired. He got fired before this happened. I hope they say in an article on why he got fired. The body cam footage released Monday shows Akron police officer Ryan Westlake. This is what we do, y'all. We look up pictures to the name. What's the point of having a fucking name? You don't see their face. They already shot us hide the faces of these goddamn suspected WSs. So this is our black brother that got shot, man. Damn, man. 15 years old. Shot by the police. Is this brother right here? I think this bruh. Mm. This might be bruh. Is it him? This is Ryan Westlake. This says Ryan Janice Janice Sky. Oh, here we go. Right here. You see it. There you go. Motherfucker smiling. This old Mayo monkey smiling. Look at him. 
He's smiling. As you see our black brother on the ground bleeding. Another, shot another one today. Another quota on the job, baby. Fuck out of here, Hank Hill. God damn. There you go, right there. God damn. Almost immediately shooting Team Tavion Concey Williams. I'm surprised they called him a team. Y'all know how the mainstream media be doing. I'm surprised they didn't call him a young adult. Y'all know how they do our black teens. They adultify them. They do it all the time. They do it all the time. While responding to a 911 call that a black man was pointing a gun at houses on April 1st, the Cleveland Plain dealer reported. Hey, where are you coming from? Can I see your hands real quick? The officer shouts before almost immediately shooting the team in the right hand. Okay, this is just them talking. We on a nine-year veteran with a history of disciplinary issues. There it goes. There it goes, y'all. Disciplinary issues. That means he got a track record of doing poor shit. Trains his weapon on the boy who screams in pain and starts yelling with his hands raised. It's fake. It's fake. I promise. He says of the toy gun, my hand hurts, mister. I want it to be safe. Tavion screams after having his hand pinned behind his back after being shot, y'all. After being shot. Mm. But this ain't going to be a breaking story. And most people, like, they ain't going to talk about this. It's okay. This is why y'all got me here. One of the black news channels out here that's giving y'all the coverage that y'all need to know. 15 year old black boy got shot in the fucking hand. They still put him behind his back, holding his hand. And you saw in the picture, bro, was smiling. Please, officer, I'm a good kid, bro. I get A's in schools. I play football. I just wanted to be safe. My cousin just just uh died. Tavion says, sobbing, explained that he come from his cousin's funeral. Damn. He also says his grandmother lives down the street before he's taken to a local hospital. And this black, this black brother, man, dealt with the funeral of his cousin, and the police popped his ass. This is the police also shows all images with a circle around what appears to be the fake gun in Tavion's hand, as well as the toy on the grass after the shooting. Westlake has been placed on administrative leave again, pending on an investigation by city and state officials, according to the plain dealer. He had been fired in 2021 for using. Do y'all see that? Using derogatory language, including a homophobic slur, when he and another cop stopped the car and searched his occupants, the outlet reported. This motherfucker was already on horse shit. And they rehired his ass. Now look what he did. I hope the city gets sued. LeBron, you gotta step in, bro. This is Ohio, bro. You gotta step in, bro. God damn. Actually, you know what, LeBron? Step the fuck off. You don't need to step in. It's okay. You know what? Nah. Bro got fired in 2021, y'all. Came back on the job, shot a 15-year-old black kid. Westlake also disciplined for an off-duty incident while extremely intoxicated. This motherfucker's a fuck-up in Florida. Of all places. According to the plain dealer, he reportedly admitted that he muzzled his gun toward his girlfriend while drunk. Wow. He was eventually rehired after an agreement with the police union for a suspension. Man, you got to take, bro, pension, bro. Hit they pocketbooks, bro. And bro, it's y'all got to hit they pocketbooks. That's the only way these goddamn suspected uh, white supremacists is going to learn. It's the only way they going to learn. The officer also is later suspended for two days without pay for hitting a suspect's car with his patrol car doing a pursuit. Does this nigga think he in GTA? Are y'all? 
Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? Does bro think he in GTA? I'm confused. Let me talk to my two family real quick. The two have been around since 05. I don't need to tell y'all what to do to get the video or the channel booming. But just like the rest of the tubers say, I'm going to say the same thing. Like a sub. Sub a share. Share a comment. Gorge. Comment like. Y'all know what to do. Some of y'all smart out there, you feel me? Oh! You know what? I'm going to change the title. I'm going to see if I can fit it in there. So we need an anti-black hate crime bill. That's why we need it. So I'm going to put that in the title too, y'all. All right? Y'all see why we need an anti-hate black crime bill? I don't give a damn if it's a civilian or a police officer. They murking us because color our skin. And I know some of you dweebs going to be out there typing with your with your wrist. But he had a toy gun. Oh, he deserved to get shot. Oh, shut the fuck up. Okay. All right. Actually, I'm not going to put it in the title. This title is hard hitting enough. You feel me? You feel me? It depends. I might put it in the title. I don't know yet. Anyway, we pay bills around here. I'd like to thank my sponsor, First Place Losers. The link to the shop is going to be in the description below. Y'all go check out the fire ass garments. Made out of 100% Egyptian cotton. I guarantee a bush of sex to fill up by, let's say, uh, 2%. And look here. If it look good on me, it's going to look marvelous on y'all. Hey, let's talk to the Twitch family. Hit your bro to follow. Hit your bro to share. I'm not even surprised why I'm not getting a lot of live viewers on this. I probably ain't going to get a lot of views on this. Because, let's be real, the world... The society, they do not care about our, our black boys, black teens. They damn near don't care about black men. They only care about us when we're bringing in resources and dough and shit. Other than that, they don't give a fuck about us. So whenever I talk about a black teen, a black child, they get the lowest amount of views on this motherfucking channel. Every time. Every time. But I'm going to read some more. The officer's files includes a number of disciplinary actions and the use of force incidents, one of which has been deemed unreasonable, the city said in a statement Monday. In Mokiai, Okolo, an attorney for Travion's uh, family, slammed at Akron police over the shooting. See? Akron, Ohio! LeBron! <laughs> Scream out LeBron. Every time, be like, hey, hey, yo, LeBron, what's up, bro? It's your city, dog. But, bro, like, but, for real, man, like, I think I also did another story about a, a Akron police officer that was doing, like, dirty deeds and that was being anti-black and shit. So, I don't know what to say. The video released today by the city of Akron speaks for itself. He said in a statement, Tavion now finds himself in a lineage of black youth being profiled and shot by the Akron Police Department with absolutely no justification or regard for human life. He added, black boys deserve to grow up and live without the threat of walking home and being shot by the police. Black boys deserve to be treated with dignity and humanity. Tavion deserves better. The community deserves better. Tavion is heard multiple times saying it's fake. I just want it to be safe. And I listen to the video. Yeah, he was saying that. I'm not going to play the video because I ain't trying to get demonetized. And that shit is graphic. Okola said in a statement Monday, adding that at no point was that toy gun pointed at anyone's home. At any individual and certain, certainly not any member of the Akron Police Department. Tavion was shot on the inside of his wrist, which clearly indicates his hands were up when he was shot. Okolo said... On Tuesday, the officer union or fraternal order of police probably didn't say nothing, but we're going to continue reading. Uh, Akron Law 7 said, anyone who criticized him is a Monday morning quarterback. Wow. What a response. 
Bro is like, man, y'all criticize me. Y'all, y'all sitting on the sidelines. The officer involved acted within policy and procedure, uh, uh, according to his training. So this what they so this this y'all training. This what y'all be doing for training. Wow, this is interesting. Huh. It said, immediately after being faced with a split-second decision to use deadly force, he and other officers began rendering medical treatment to the suspect. The union added in a statement to WEWS that this is an extremely difficult situation. Blah, blah, blah. They're going to say that bullshit. I don't want to hear that shit. A load of horse crap. All right. Now, y'all, we're going to read the comments. And we're going we're gonna to play a slapper, and we're going to get out of here. Uh... F the New York Post says anti-white racist Yaron Stetch Birch likes to pretend that blacks aren't violent. Like this whole sentence is fucking stupid. Anti-white. Blacks aren't violent. So is that so, so the justification of a black teen saying that the gun fake and having his hands up and he got shot. You're saying that, oh, blacks are violent, so it's cool. And they're refusing to drop a toy gun is okay. He shot and murdered Palestinian children when he was in the... All right, man, they bring this Palestine bullshit in here. Like, it don't it don't make sense for y'all bringing the Palestine-Israel shit into this fucking topic. This don't make no goddamn sense, you, you goddamn honky. Oh, cracker-ass cracker. Vagabond 1066 says... Even if he said it was a toy, did he bother to actually drop the gun? Who gives a fuck? Hands was up. He didn't point the gun at him. Y'all just justify. Y'all just try to justify any way that uh, kill us as black people. Man in black forever seventy two. Hey, you play with guns, fake or not? It looks real enough. The cop didn't kill him. He disarmed him. Don't buy your kids fake guns. How about you? Don't buy your your mama a fake dildo. Man in black. How about that? Huh? Yeah. Eric B says, well, what did he expect? He expected your mama not to uh, suck a man's dick that got meth on it, but I guess we can't have it all our way, right? <laughs> Boku Creation says, the main fact is that the victim had his hands up. The victim did not point the gun at the suspect. Officer. The suspect should not have been an officer. An officer considering his criminal history. Drunk with a gun? Are you kidding me? The last time I checked, that's against the law. And him being an officer knows that. Exactly. But none of these stupid cocksuckers right here that I'm reading their comments is, is aware of that. They too goddamn blinded by their white ideology, white supremacist ideology, that these niggas are saying the dumbest shit. Idiotic shit. All right, I'm gonna read two more comments. We're gonna play the slapper, and we're gonna get out of here. My my goddamn jaw is still hurting. You feel me? This shit gonna take a while for my fucking mouth to uh feel better. You know. Uh, Jones Bone says, in the meantime, the race soldiers give the wink, wink. Okay, sign the rotten house type kids walking around with real assault weapons. Thank you. They take their ass to Wendy's or Burger King or McDonald's. Bop, 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 bop. You can have it your way after killing people. That's how they be with the white suspects with real guns. Our kids have fake guns and they pop their ass. Crazy. I know. All right. Blodo Brain says the parents should be arrested and charged with parental neglect to knowingly allow their 15 year old to walk around the neighborhood open. Open and display. How the fuck would they know this nigga's 15? This, see, niggas say stupid shit and act like they not the same, the same age, like been the age of 15 before. That's stupid. You don't tell everything that you do to your parents, you fucking idiot. I don't even want to read the rest of this cocksucker goddamn comment. Fucking stupid. All right, y'all. Man, look, y'all, I'm about to play the slapper of the damn day. You feel me? And today, we about to slap. From BFB, the Pac-Man, okay? From his uh album, Fat Niggas Need Love Too.
and I want to play this song right here. I think it's kind of funny. It's a slapper. Weekend at Solomon's. You feel me? Yeah! Since birth, I was a problem, baby. Should have worn a condom. I was just fucked up, rocking, feeling like a prop. Now these bitches on my dick, I'm dropping fire with the side. On the way to the doctor, because it's itching on my prop. Oh, Lord, everybody calm down. It's just a hair bump. They killed Jeffrey Epstein because he told, and I'm scared. Trump. Three pumps in, whole war. All about the bus. Sack nigga, but my bitch bad. Nigga, Sherman clump. <laughs> oh, God. Did you miss Purdy? My bitch a firm ticket. CVS, she got the strip quirk. You got a code name for the bricks. Did you get hurt from Bougie, nigga, just to be my meat? Bitch, I get jerkins. Oh, nigga, dog, this fan can't even change me. On the law, I want to fuck Eric to change. Man, I had a fat mama, dog. I dare you niggas blame me. And I offered him a dollar, but he gave you one of Danish. If that's what you like, dog, I'm not homophobic. My dick ain't that long, bitch. So why you choking? Uh, I took his cap. I swear to God, she a capaholic. Cap Only white people take a shit in the right, right to the toilet. toilet. Too fat, I left the seat back. Give me here now. The police right next to us. Keep your head down. Boom, boom. I'm back, so when I'm fucking, that's how the bed sound. Spending all these dead niggas' money, nigga. Clear mine. Fuck around in that did, just me and face. Already know the feds hip, just bring your case. They ain't gonna come and get me. Oh, fuck, nigga, bring the race. Had a dream that I was skinny. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Woke up, couldn't see my waist. Oh, my God. I'm not a fucking drop, racist. Drop, drop a plane, caught up with my foot. It didn't touch the pavement. I crack with my pinky toe. I need a fucking razor. Touch more boy than Mike Jack. I'm not a fucking rapist. Oh, oh my God. I'm talking super loose. Something bitch face. When I was done, she had a missing tooth. Let's see what the stick don't want to pop. Bitch, like a flu. Fuck around the whack, but nigga knows like he got the flu. Plugged in with Jazz Press. I got my ties. Got an acre homes, bitch. That fuck me for some high fries. Love sucking on both teeth. You who got guys? my girl that I'm seeing for other bitches. Bam, cock guy. I'm just cheating. I don't know about polygamy. I gave my bitch another STD. I know she's sick of me. Baby, I don't kiss and tell. Bitch, I'm solid like a brick in me. I ain't signing unless I own my masters. Nigga, ain't no pipping me. Yeah! That was BFB the Pac Man off his album Fat Niggas Need Love Too. This was Weekend at Solomon's. Slapper. 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 Y'all go check that out, y'all. All right. Now, that being said, come to the end of the show. This is another episode of the Sears Glare. I'm your lovely or hated host, Kamal, a.k.a. The Black Seinfeld, a.k.a. Magic X. Since I have a certain sector of my audience that has love and appreciation for your breath, that's my fam. We don't always agree, but when we disagree, we do it with respect. What should y'all be doing right now? Well, what y'all waiting for? <laughs> and if they watching, at least they learning. Not other sect of my audience, suspected WSs, the the honky ass cop that shot our 15 black black uh brother, 15 year old black brother. You feel me? You suspected WSs and the rest of you honkies and fuck niggas in that goddamn sector. What should y'all be doing right now? That's right, EAD. Now, with that being said, um, my final note is this: uh, the cop that did that. Bro, y'all, y'all fucking up. The police department fucking up over there. I'm sorry. They let a bro in that been in hella disciplinary actions, got fired, let him back, and now he did this horse crap. You feel me? God damn. Bunch of BS, man. Glad the boy didn't get killed. You feel me? There is another new segment I'm going to talk about down the line where the police actually did kill one of our black brothers. I'm going to talk about that down the line. But with that being said, y'all have a good day, good evening, good whenever it is y'all consuming this content. Have a good one, y'all.